Hello, and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you are having a glorious day today. Today, we will be looking at Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 through 46. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Today, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 through 46, we hear Jesus drawing analogies for his disciples. His subject is the kingdom of heaven, and he's drawing analogies to emphasize the value and importance of residing there in eternity. In other words, providing some earthly examples to orient their thinking and provide a context for their life and their work. Like most analogies, there's not perfect alignment, especially when the subject is eternity in heaven with God. However, Jesus gives them nonetheless, and they are quite powerful. In both of the examples that Jesus gives, he identifies something of tremendous value, here a buried treasure and a pearl of great price. In both cases, the treasure and the pearl represent the kingdom of heaven. And in both cases, the people who find them or come across them or discover them sell all that they have, all that they own, to purchase the treasure and purchase the pearl. The implication being that the treasure and the pearl are in each case worth much, much more than all that the person owns. Note an unsaid detail in Jesus' description is the value of all that is owned by these folks. We don't have any idea how much the treasure hunter or the jewel merchant owns and the value of all that they own. Jesus' statement is so broad that it is reasonable to assume that he is saying that regardless of the value of all that you own in this world, heaven is of far greater value. And thus, why worry about storing up earthly treasure in this world? To me, that's the punchline. Why worry? Why stress? Why focus on? Why prioritize? Why have anxiety over? Why fight over? Why covet? Why steal? Why idolize? that which has no value to you when you pass from this world. He's saying there is a far greater value than that buried treasure, a far greater value than that pricey pearl. Today in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus spoke to his disciples with examples and analogies highlighting where their focus should be. Today, I thank God for this reminder of where ours should be as well. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember our word of the day is the unboundless glory of the kingdom of heaven. Until next time, be well and be blessed.